everybody. So Mackenzie wants to change her room from ponies to mermaids. So we are going to take this bookcase and we are going to give it a mermaid makeover. First step is going to be to paint it white. Okay, and here it is painted white. Took a few coats of paint. Now we're going to let it dry and I will show you how we are going to add some scales to the side to kind of look like mimic a mermaid's fin. All right, so I'm using a yogurt container, and you can see that I made these marks here. So this is your half circle for the scale or scallop that you're gonna be making. And I also put a dot for the top because I didn't take a protractor and make sure that we are exactly at 90 degree angles. So I want each one to be identical. So as far as the the depth of it. So I made a dot at the top so I knew if I put it down, which end was up. So the next step is just going to be to line up those black lines that I made and lightly draw with a pencil. It's going to go off the edge a little bit in the back. It's okay though. So now I have this line here, which is exactly why I did it. So that way I can match it with the top. And this paint is going to scratch off because of the material that it is. It, it's one of those like fake woods. So what, after this is all done, I'm going to have to um, add a layer of protective coating over the top of it. Everybody, so that is the pattern. And so, in case you didn't catch it the first time, to get the next row, the dot on the top, the line on the top matches in with that line, and then you're going to line up the dot here and the dot here, and then draw it in. So that way you're staying consistent, it makes it very easy to keep the pattern pattern in the scene. Did you see that? Yeah. Good job. What's Puppy doing? Puppy, Mommy. Here we are, sir. Now go Pika on your top. Commonly referred to as Pikachu, indigenous to the enchanted Northern Ghost region. She appears to be struggling to breathe after eating a poisonous ball pit ball. It is indeed Okay, so the next step in this process is to put a clear coat on it, which I already did, which is why it looks kind of hazy. It'll dry clear. It's just a protective coat um, for two reasons. One, this was originally brown, if you remember, and that white paint likes to scratch off very easily on this faux wood. Um, and then the other is that I don't want this to scratch off either. So, all right. 
right, so I'll show you guys when it's dry and then I'm gonna add a couple of little touches and it'll be all done. All right guys, and that's it. That's my mermaid inspired bookcase for Mackenzie's room. I am gonna see if I can find a black outline um, of a wall cling to put down here of a silhouette of a mermaid, which I think would add like a nice touch. Um, I wanted to add, because I always tell you the good, the bad, and what I think could have been improved. Obviously, I think my lines could have been a little bit neater. I don't like this glitter paint. It took like five coats, and I still feel like it's very blotchy, but Kenzie insisted upon using it. I also wanted to take a white, <clears throat> one of those paint Sharpies, and just edge out this so you got more of a crisp line. But Kenzie said no, and it's her room, so that's that. Um, those are two suggestions for you guys in the future. Also, I used what I had on hand, but if I were to go to the store and buy all the supplies for this, I would have just gotten colored Sharpies, the color that I wanted. And then it would have been really easy and simple just to kind of color it in and get those nice straight edges that um, would really make this piece like 100% like legit perfect. <laughs> so... Um, but it's for Mackenzie's room, and I think putting that that silhouette there is gonna gonna make it. I also think sometimes having some not so perfect things in a kid's kid's room, especially when they're five, is is okay. I think it kind of adds to the fun of it being a kid's room. All right, everybody. So have a blessed day, and we will see you guys later. Bye.